What's up guys? Welcome back to another video of the house. I'm here joined with a couple people in my community and so pretty much we're going to go ahead and give you an updated version of the beginner's guide that I gave you guys a couple months ago just because so much stuff has changed and I just think it's really important for everyone to go ahead and get everything down if they're barely starting the game. So let's go ahead and get started. When you load into the game you're going to go ahead and get some playtime rewards right here for each day that you log in and in case you don't get this pretty much on the bottom left hand corner this calendar right here click on it and it'll pretty much pop this up. You also have playtime rewards as well. The more time you play in the game, the more you'll be able to get these rewards. And so pretty much, it's pretty much your playtime. Every time you play a little bit longer in the game, you're more likely going to get one of these rewards. So just keep that in mind as well. Another thing I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys are codes. So if you guys ever see any codes, like the ones that are going to be on their about page, on their discord, or any codes such as Goat Malin or Jeffrey ASF, you could use those as well. You could go ahead and place them right here. Now let's go ahead and talk about trading. So trading unfortunately is only unlocked when you're level 30 and once you trade an item to them pretty much you will never be able to uh, get it back or they won't be able to trade it as well. So right now we're going to go ahead and show you an example. We're going to go ahead and click ready right here. Genji's going to get a shiny frost and we're going to go ahead and click confirm and that train is complete. Once you trade stuff for example it's pretty much going to look like this. Let me go ahead and check it out. Oh I clicked the wrong button. We're going to go click right here. Trading is going to look like this. You're going to have a little icon right here on the side that has a blue arrow going one way and a yellow arrow going the other way. And that's pretty much it right there. So I'm going to go back upstairs and just make sure that I'm with the rest of the group because they're probably going to be like, what? All right. So now that the group's over here, we're going to go ahead and jump and see if they want to follow. Right here, this is going to be Casper. And so pretty much every time there's a new season, from my understanding, or a new chapter, you can click on him and pretty much he's going to be like, hey, what's up? You could go ahead and get this pet. And so when you talk to this guy, you get a pet for free. You don't have to do anything crazy. And then once you uh, get the pet, you can pretty much equip them by clicking on pets. And then you just equip them. Now let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the shop. So the shop is going to change every so often. Uh, usually stuff stays here for at least a month or two. So just keep in mind, you do have a couple stuff right here that you guys might want to see. And as well, if you guys don't want to grind for the blue soul gems, which are going to be the top right, you could definitely go ahead and just click on this to go ahead and purchase some. Another thing too is your heroes. Just know that your heroes are going to be categorized by shiny, by um, epics, legendaries, mythics, arcane, secrets. So just keep that in mind. So if you click on these, it'll just go ahead and show you like which ones are which. And you could just go on so on and so forth. Next thing is going to be your urns. So pretty much any urns that you get during the events, any urns you get in endless, any urns that you get in the floors, you show up right here. And if you click on one... And you could just go ahead and open it and you just go ahead and get one of the items that are inside. Just keep in mind that the possibilities are also there. If you click on an urn, click on possibilities. It'll tell you what you could get. Another thing are your collectibles too. We'll go a little bit more in depth on this a little bit later. But pretty much when you complete a floor on level 50, you could pretty much get one of these collectibles right here. And depending on like how many times you play or how dedicated you are onto what floor will dictate what you get as well. And once again, your pets, you could also get them on the floors as well. And pretty much the more pets that you get, like let's say you get two Santa pets. Once you get two, it'll become a level two. If you get another one, it'll become a level three. So that's pretty much how you level up your pets. Just keep getting the same pets. Now let's go ahead and go down to summoning. And pretty much the crypt is where you're going to be able to get more troops right here. So if you go to the crypt right here, you go ahead and go in here. You can go ahead and summon for 450 for 10 or a 1 for 50. And I would just recommend just doing the 450. Realistically, it's going to be a little bit more easier for you to do. And the chances of you actually getting what's up here is going to be categorized on your left side. And just keep in mind, just because these are on the board doesn't mean that you're going to get these for sure. It's just that you have a higher possibility of getting these. You could always get something else that's completely different. It doesn't mean that you're just going to get this. So just keep that in mind as well. Another thing we're going to go ahead and talk about is uh, pretty much the urns. So these are the urns that you have right here. They're going to be characterized by different stuff. You got secret, you got shiny, mythic, rare, epic, and legendary. Just keep that in mind. And over here, you're going to have your shiny luck. So pretty much in order to get shiny, it's going to be one out of 100% chance of you actually getting shiny. And it actually does boost your hero 25% stronger. And from my understanding, it's almost on every ability. But I can't exactly say for every character, but for some of the characters, it is every ability. Over here on the side, you're going to have the troops that you're no longer going to be able to get. Pretty much these were some of the worst ones, which is going to be the Necromancer, which is female, and as well as Sage. So unfortunately, since they were so weak, we are no longer going to see them anymore. Also over here on the side, if you talk to this guy right here, 
you could go ahead and purchase some realm keys right here and so it's going to be 500 for each realm key just keep that in mind and once you get it you go to your backpack you go to your collectibles and you click on the realm key just to see it and when you want you could go ahead and talk to this guy and then you could go ahead and enter the realm once you're inside of the realm you have the option to go into the three the two and the one but i'm going to go ahead and go into the one real quickly just to go ahead and show you guys like what they look like and what's the possibilities that you guys could get and so pretty much in this one once it loads up, you're going to have two new maps because there's one map that came out before and one that came out a little bit later. And so pretty much you're going to have these two towns right here and these are going to be the rewards you could get. Keep in mind too that if you are able to get any of these rewards, it's pretty much a big W, especially if you get the arcane and pretty much the only way to get arcane troops are in the realms. And these are going to be the two types of realms that you're going to have. And each one is going to be a little bit different depending on um, what the characters are and what um, the bosses are. Keep that in mind once you go ahead and press play start you're gonna get into the plot and then you're gonna have a little bit of time to defend so just keep that in mind as well so let's go ahead and just head back to the lobby real quickly now that we're loading up we're gonna go ahead and just move on to pretty much the more back area of the locations which is gonna be all the way at the end so let's go ahead and just run over there real quickly we're gonna jump and run jump and run so back here, we're going to go ahead and start with uh, the Endless. We're not going to exactly talk about this right here uh, just yet. I'm going to talk about it a little bit later. And so now we're going to come over here and just talk about Endless, the garden area. So for you guys that do not know, the garden area is a place where you can pretty much run um, Endless Waves. And when you run the Endless Waves, pretty much you're going to have uh, different types of maps. You're going to have one that has Boom Bear. You're going to have one that has Skull Shot and you're going to have one that has Nitro. And keep in mind, you're going to have a 1 out of 25% chance of getting a Shiny for each one. And another thing I could definitely tell you too is that if you do end up playing this, uh, I would recommend trying to do it. If you're brand new, try playing it with other people. And if you're a little bit more advanced, definitely play it by yourself. Because it's a lot more easier if you play by yourself compared to playing with other people. So I'm going to go ahead and just jump into uh, the... Well, I'll go ahead and jump into the three. And we're just going to go ahead and show off the maps. We're going to see who gets lucky enough to get in there. And so, like I did explain before, there are going to be three maps in total. And depending on which map you choose, you will have different rewards as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just show you like the different maps. So for example, you have the Boom Bear one. And these are going to be your rewards. And they're going to be a little bit different, of course. Like this is going to be what you have for your pattern here. Wave 100. This is one of the ones where you can get a uh, shiny for free at Wave 100. This is going to be another one where you get a shiny for free at wave 100. This is going to be Skull Shot. And for Nitro, it's going to be a little bit different. You're going to have Nitro at 150, but you're going to have more earns compared to your Skull. So just keep that in mind. We're going to go ahead and click on this one just to spawn in real quickly. And then we'll just go ahead and exit out. But we're going to go ahead and show you guys the Nitro map really quickly so you guys have an understanding of what it looks like. So this is going to be the Nitro map right here, which is going to be pretty easy. Each one is going to be very different. Some of them you have to defend uh, four... Uh, four gates or entrances boom bear you have to defend two and then you'll also have to defend I just let me double check one two three four four for skull shot so now we're going to go ahead and go back into the lobby to go ahead and join the rest of the group and we're going to continue talking on to what the curses are now we're at curses so we're going to go ahead and head over to the curses area so you guys have an understanding of what curses are I always get this question in my videos and I just want to go ahead and make sure you guys understand what the curses are so curses right here, pretty much these little skulls that you get on the top right hand corner, these are going to be your voodoo tokens. And with these voodoo do uh, uh, tokens, my apologies for that, you could go ahead and upgrade any troop that you like. Like for example, let's go ahead and get blood claw right here. One voodoo token, you could go ahead and pretty much roll and try to get something good right here. Like for example, bloodlust. And you don't just have bloodlust, you don't exactly just have haste. Bloodlust, vision, haste, dark vision, blitz, death strike, hell fury. Oblivion, Inferno, Greed, and Nightmare. And I'm going to go ahead and give you guys some pointers for this just because I've been playing this game a good amount of time. The one that you want 100% is going to be Nightmare. After that, I would say Greed, even though it's a 0.4%, I just recommend putting Greed on your starting troops because realistically, Greed is only good on um, like the, the first waves. Because when you get to the higher waves, it's so easy for you guys to get money. It's so simple. So, so reliance pretty much. But when on the higher wave, uh, waves, I'd recommend getting anywhere from Nightmare, Inferno, Oblivion, Hellfire. Those are definitely it. But if you're running something that doesn't have like quick speed, for example, you could use Haste. If you're using something that doesn't have that much um, range, you could use Vision. 
and something that you think it would be overpowered, you could also use Bloodlust as well. Now let's go ahead and move over to this middle part, the house urn. So every time you're going to have different types of urns, for right now this is going to be our event. And so these are going to be the chapter 1 urns right here. And so for these, pretty much you could go ahead and collect these, you could buy these for Robux. But you could also get them um, with your playtime rewards, which I'm going to show you right here. You can get them right here for your playtime rewards. You could also get them in the realms, and you could also trade for them as well. And pretty much these are going to be the percentages that you have. Usually green is going to be the same. Your blue is going to be 15%. Purple is going to be 5 uh, Um, Red is going to be uh, 25 And your yellow is going to be 1 And so as we continue on, we also have some urns over here. And these are going to be the feature ones that are currently in the shop. So just keep that in mind too if you guys want to check them out. From my understanding, um, the red one is pretty OP. Now let's go ahead and talk about death certificates or the death's office. Pretty much the death office right here. You could talk to this guy and it's going to be a little bit more pricey compared to the realm keys. It's going to be a thousand soul gems if you want to buy one. So I'm just going to go ahead and buy one just to go ahead and show you guys. Bought one there, cost a thousand. And now you're going to talk to pretty much the guy that brings death to everybody. And so right here, this is where you go ahead and sacrifice uh, people right here. So if you say yes, please, you can go ahead and sacrifice somebody here. So let's go ahead and just show you an example of what we're going to sacrifice. We are going to sacrifice, if I could find it, a kitty. That is, there you go, that I traded today. You're going to go ahead and sacrifice a kitty. Once you sacrifice it, you're going to get an orb. After that, you're going to go to your collections and you're going to go to the orb. You're going to click on it. You're going to click on use. You're going to pick on which person you want to use it on. Once you click on it, you could go ahead and upgrade anything, your speed, you could upgrade your damage, you could upgrade your range. Keep in mind, you could only do this four times to get it to level five, like the ones that I have on the bottom. Nightmare Skull Shot, Nightmare Boom Bear. Uh, we have our Inferno Krampus and our Inferno Angel. They're all maxed out at level five. And for as of right now, I don't know if this is going to be true for the future, that's as far as you can get, it's level five. But I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the damage just because I do love damage so much. And now we're going to go ahead and talk about this little space right here on the side. So this little thing doesn't have anything on it right now. However, later on and from past events as well, there is usually an event right here. So any events that you have will be right here. Just keep that in mind. Right now there's nothing, but that's all right. Now let's go ahead and talk about things that haven't exactly been out yet. So we're going to go ahead and head over here to Demon Slayer. From my understanding, this is only going to come out um, very soon, probably a little bit in the earlier year for this uh, this year. I think it's going to come out in the end of January, June, or or not January, June. January, February, or March, around there, from my understanding. From what I've been seeing on their Discord, that's going to be pretty much it. And the Demon Slayer stuff, from my understanding, you're only going to be able to do Floor 7 for this, from what I've heard. We're going to go ahead and go outside to one of the more bigger things that is going to be actually out in a couple days from now. Uh, we're going to go to the Crypt, I believe it's called. And this Crypt right here, the Crypt Kings, pretty much this is going to be one of the more bigger events. It's going to take three days. So three days from now is going to be, or technically it's going to be four days. So it's going to be coming out on the 19th of January. So keep that in mind. And it looks like people are already so excited that they're trying to jump over. It looks like we actually have some people locked up. Naughty, naughty, naughty. But yeah, once it comes out, I'll go ahead and put another video out for you guys so you guys have a bigger understanding of that. But for right now, this is not open just yet. And we also have these dark little uh, drifts right here. If you talk to this guy, he talks a little bit about it, about how these are kind of like all over the place. They're kind of like it leads to paths to like ancient civilizations and stuff that have been forgotten. But for right now, this has nothing there yet. And this is a new addition over here too. It's just related to the same exact thing. Just keep that in mind. This is probably going to be like another special thing later down on the road. But for right now, it's not. Now let's go ahead and talk about the last thing that's on our checklist. The last thing that's on our checklist is going to be the floors. Pretty much there's going to be floors from 1 to 7 as of right now. And I'm just going to go ahead and just give you guys a brief little introduction. Brief little summary of them all so you guys have an understanding of them. Once it loads up, here we go. Okay, so we're going to have different floors. You're going to have uh, floor one, which is going to be one of the more easier ones. It's going to be the new floor. Floor two, you're going to have the chef as well as um, the pig. And just keep in mind, too, as I'm going along, the rewards are going to change. You're going to have different characters on each of the bottom ones. Number three, you're going to have um, you're going to have Tess, and you're going to have the number two. And then you're also going to have uh, the, the parlor. I'm going to call her the parlor queen because I don't know what to call her. 
you have Fluffy right here for floor. You have the Fluffy, Fluffy, and I, I guess they're pretty much all Fluffies. Number five, it's going to change a little bit more. You could actually get round keeps from five, six, and seven. Just keep that in mind as well. But the rewards are definitely going to change as well. So you're going to have the first one, you're going to get the red spider. You have the green spider, the purple, and then you have the white. Number six, you're going to have this guy, which is kind of like, uh, I don't even know. He's an experiment. You're going to have another experiment. And pretty much you're going to have all experiments until you get to the doctor number five. And then last but not least, you're going to have your demons of chaos, which are going to be rooms one, two, three, and four. And number five is going to be a little bit different. You're going to have this guy right here. So that's pretty much it. That pretty much covers everything so far. So if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, just go ahead and just let me know ASAP, and I'll go ahead and try to get to you guys as quickly as I can. But once again, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Really do appreciate it, and I hope this does help you out. And if you guys have any questions, like I said before, feel free to reach out. I'm always willing to answer your questions. Thank you guys once again, and I'll see you guys on the next one.